Hey guys, Justin here. So I made a video on August 10th about the top two solar stocks I was personally buying. And those two stocks were SolarEdge and Enphase. But one of the stocks I mentioned in that video was Sunrun. And at the time, I did not personally buy any shares of Sunrun stock, but in hindsight, I probably should have. That's because since releasing that video, Sunrun has outpaced other solar stocks and was able to jump 66% in just the past two months. And if we look at Sunrun's returns from its lows back in March, we can see that it is up over 800% in the past six months, which is a fantastic return if you were lucky enough to have bought shares back in March. But in my opinion, even though Sunrun stock has outperformed other solar stocks recently, that does not mean that I think it is the best solar stock to buy right now. And I don't want you to hear me say that and automatically think that Sunrun is a bad company. In fact, it is very possible that Sunrun could keep going up for the foreseeable future. So I first want to explain why Sunrun has gone up so much over the past six months, and then I also want to share why I am not super bullish on Sunrun stock when compared to other solar stocks like SolarEdge and Enphase. But first, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's really easy to do, and as a new creator here on YouTube, it helps my channel out a lot. So like I said, I actually mentioned Sunrun stock in my previous video. And the reason I mentioned it was because Sunrun had just announced that they would be buying Vivint Solar for $1.5 billion. Now the news of the acquisition sent both stocks up over 100% in just one month. So obviously this was exciting news to investors and investors responded by buying shares of both Sunrun and Vivint. Now, if you have watched my previous video, you would know that I am not very bullish on solar panel installers, which Sunrun and Vivint both are. And even though Sunrun stock has gone up a lot recently, I don't think solar panel installers are the best solar companies to invest in right now. And let me explain why. Basically, when it comes to solar stocks, you have three different types of business models. You have the solar panel manufacturers, the solar panel installers, and the companies that make solar panel components. Now, like I said earlier, Sunrun and Vivint are considered solar panel installers. That means they make money by buying solar panels and solar panel components from other companies and then marking up the prices to generate a profit. Now, obviously it is not as simple as that because you need to factor in the cost of labor. But at the end of the day, solar panel installers are very similar to middlemen. They have the technical expertise and large crews of workers who can properly install solar panel systems. And solar panel installers are important because not many people know how to properly install solar panels on their own roofs. So even though I am calling them middlemen, which carries with it a negative connotation, they still provide a very valuable service to consumers. Now, one thing we have seen in recent years is a big reduction in solar panel costs and a big rise in solar panel installations, both of which you think would be great things for solar panel installers. This is because as solar panels become cheaper, more people can afford to install them. And this in turn should mean more work and higher profit margins for solar panel installers. Unfortunately, when we look at the numbers, this is not what is actually happening. If we look at the revenue and net income for Sunrun over the past five years, we can see that while revenue has consistently gone up, net losses have actually gotten worse. To confirm this, let's look at the chart for Sunrun's net revenue. We can see here that they have been able to grow revenue in every quarter year over year, except in the most recent quarter, which is a good sign for any business because it shows that they are growing. But the problem for Sunrun occurs when we look at their net losses. In this chart, we can see that the net losses for Sunrun are actually trending down, while the revenue is rising. In fact, in 2019, Sunrun recorded their highest net losses ever. So why is this? Well, it's a little counterintuitive, but it does make sense. The problem for solar panel installers like Sunrun and Vivint is that in order to keep growing, they need to lower prices. However, if they lower prices too much, then their margins get put under pressure. Also, as the number of installations rises, Sunrun needs to hire more workers and train them on how to install solar panels. And this is mostly a linear cost, meaning that as the number of installation rises, the amount of labor needed will rise at roughly the same rate. So if the average installation takes 40 man hours to complete and Sunrun does 1,000 installations a day, that means they would need 5,000 workers to work eight hours a day in order to get all 1,000 installations done. But if let's say Sunrun does 2,000 installations a day, then they would need 10,000 workers to accomplish all the installations in a single day. 
This combination of downward price pressure and increased cost to scale is not a good recipe for growing a successful business. So if things are so bleak for solar panel installers, then why is Sunrun stock up so much? Well, by buying Vivent, not only does Sunrun get access to all of Vivent's potential customers, but they also eliminate their biggest competitor. And when it comes to solar panel installers, competition is a big deal. Solar panel installers don't really have any proprietary technology or much of a competitive advantage. And like I said earlier, they are basically middlemen who are selling a commodity. If I want solar panels on my roof and Vivent can do it for $2,000 cheaper than Sunrun can, I will probably go with Vivent because all else being equal, Vivint is giving me the better price. Also, as long as Vivint gives me a similar warranty as Sunrun does, then I don't really care which solar panels or solar panel components they use. It's all the same to me as the consumer. Also, when it comes to solar panel installation companies in the US, Sunrun and Vivint are by far the biggest. Therefore, by buying Vivint, Sunrun is eliminating the competition and essentially setting up a monopoly that will allow them to charge much higher prices. Now, this is bad for consumers, but it is great for businesses. And it's great for Sunrun because Sunrun can now charge a fixed price to install solar panels, even though the cost of solar panels is continuing to drop. So instead of passing the cost savings from panel manufacturers onto the consumer, Sunrun can charge higher prices and keep more of that profit. Now, usually the government does not like monopolies, but recently we got word that regulators have in fact approved the deal between Sunrun and Vivint. The ruling from the US Justice Department means that Sunrun could finalize the deal to buy Vivint as early as this month. So it appears that the US government is fine with Sunrun having a monopoly in the US market, which is strange, but apparently they don't care or they don't see it as a bad thing. So at the end of the day, this is the main reason that we have seen Sunrun stock go up so much over the past couple of months, because they now have essentially a legalized monopoly on the solar panel installation market in the US. And honestly, this gives Sunrun a pretty big competitive advantage among the other solar panel installation companies. Therefore, I could see this competitive advantage boosting Sunrun stock for five or more years. Now, there could be other solar panel companies that rise up to challenge Sunrun, but it will take time for these smaller companies to gain market share, during which time Sunrun can keep their prices high and make more money. Now, the one company that I could see competing well against Sunrun right now is Tesla, but Tesla probably won't have the resources to expand into the solar panel market for at least five years. That's because right now they are heavily focusing on their electric cars, and I think that is a good thing for Tesla, but it will limit the amount of resources they have to get into the solar panel market. All of this means that Sunrun now has a chance to grow bigger and stronger because it has a legalized monopoly in the solar panel market for essentially the next five or more years. Now for me, I personally like stocks of solar panel component manufacturers the best. These are companies like SolarEdge and Enphase. And I like these solar stocks the best because they also have a monopoly. Back in 2013, SolarEdge and Enphase only controlled 30% of the inverter market. But now, as of December of 2019, they control 80% of the inverter market. This gives them the advantage to charge higher prices and make higher profit margins on the products they sell. Compare this to the solar panel manufacturers themselves, and it's a completely different story. There are dozens of different solar panel manufacturers, and none of them have a dominant share of the market. So essentially, when looking at solar stocks to buy, competition is not a good thing. We want to only buy the stocks of solar companies that can protect their margins and not get worn down by downward pricing pressure. Based on this, my top two solar stocks are still SolarEdge and Enphase. But given the Vivint acquisition, I don't think it is a bad idea to buy Sunrun stock right now. For my portfolio, however, SolarEdge, Enphase, and Tesla will continue to be my top holdings to take advantage of the growth in the solar energy market. So if you guys found this video informational, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also drop a comment below with your thoughts. Do you think Sunrun stock will keep going up or is it set for a pullback? Let me know below. Also check out my channel where I have a lot of other videos on which stocks I am personally buying and which stocks I am avoiding. And with that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.